Planet Dolan. From the IQ of caveman to the dress size of 50s movie stars, we look at nine dumbest myths about people. Yeah, yeah, what's up, YouTube fans? Spring of the one in the building. How we doing today? Hey, guys, I got some crazy new content for your face. So here we go. Number nine. This entry has been making more rounds on the internet as a conspiracy, but it's actually a type of myth that has been around forever. Lizard people. Or specifically that the people who occupy positions of power in the world are actually lizard humanoids. Wearing fake skin, reptilian creatures are enslaving you because... Reasons, okay? Historically, people have had a long run of calling those in power as demons in disguise and created stories that are basically the same premise. They aren't human, they are just wearing human skin. Hell, this is probably just some form of paranoid schizophrenia that has plagued us for centuries. Number 8. In terms of historical legends, Napoleon got the short end of the stick. Literally. You probably heard of short man syndrome and that Napoleon was the poster boy for it. If you haven't, it basically means short men are power hungry because they are short. Anyways, Napoleon wasn't actually that short. The rumor was mainly started by English propagandists because apparently a short enemy is less threatening. It didn't help that the English and French used different measuring systems at the time. So to the Brits, it would appear that Napoleon was 5'2", when in reality, he was actually 5'6", which at the time, that was a fairly average height, which is funny because I'm still taller than him. Number 7. People still can't accept the competency of female leaders, so it's no surprise that one's history's greatest would be rumored to be a man in disguise. Elizabeth I led Britain to one of its most prosperous periods in history, but no mere woman could do that, surely. No, no, she's actually a man because it'd be easier to be a queen? There's literally no rational reason why. If Elizabeth was a man, he'd pretend to be a woman, bearing being transgender, that is. On the side of that, Elizabeth's mother, Anne Boleyn, was executed by Henry VIII for not having a male child. So... Number 6. Pretty much everyone assumes that prehistoric humans were stupid because those dumbasses couldn't even build a house. But research is finding that we are actually the idiots. There is little evidence to suggest that the brains around 100,000 years ago were different from ours. Basically meaning that education and learning is what makes the difference. If you went back in time and stole a cave baby and raised it into the 21st century, it would be of normal intelligence. However, if you went to try and live with cave people, you'd probably die from eating the wrong berries, you idiot. Number 5. You've probably never heard of John Hansen, but a lot of people believe he was the actual first president of the United States. Why? Because people are stupid. John Hansen was the president of the Constitutional Congress, which if you know nothing about history, it might make you say, Aha! Uh -huh. The word president is right there. But the rest of the words make all the difference. This was not the same as holding the presidency of the United States. Heck, Hansen died in 1783, before the role of president was formed in 1787. This has recently been picked up by conspiracy nuts, saying that Hansen was actually black, and that's why it's been covered up. They even have a photo of him. Too bad photography hadn't been invented when Hansen was alive. Number 4. Gene Simmons' iconic and impossibly long tongue has been a music sex symbol for decades, but some think it isn't. Human. The ridiculous length of it has created a myth that Gene actually has had surgery to make it that way, and even longer. How? By adding parts of Kyle's tongue to his own, creating some kind of Franken-tongue. <laughs> Franken-tongue. Sounds like a diabolical evil plan that you use to make sure you taste everything you eat. Unfortunately, Gene isn't the mad scientist people would like him to be. Not only would that have a snowball's chance in hell of working using human tongues, Kyle's tongues are not compatible with any part of the human body. Number 3. When you make a fool of yourself in public, repeatedly, for eight years, then people are going to think you have a mental disability. George W. Bush didn't have the most impressive political career when it comes to looking like a smart man, leading to the widespread myth that he had the lowest IQ in the history of US presidents at 91. Sounds legit, right? But there's actually no basis for this, other than Bush's actions in public, which were pretty dumb. It seems the whole thing came from a report credited to an institute that didn't actually exist. And surprise, the report didn't exist either. Bush's IQ has been since estimated between 120 and 138. Number 2 Everyone has that one friend on Facebook who keeps posting about beauty standards having changed so much because Marilyn Monroe was a size 16. Unfortunately for them, this is complete bull crap. While Marilyn was a curvy girl, she was not even close to a size 16. How do we know? Because her film costumes still exist. Taking into account that Monroe actually had very strange measurements, most of her dresses would fit into the 2-4 to four category. Planet Dolan is all for body positivity, but don't lie to prove your point. Number 1 Everyone knows Walt Disney's head was frozen so that it could be brought back to life in the future to make Mickey Mouse cartoons, and yet it's total bullshit. 
Most people have been suckered in by this myth that started right back when Walt died. No one is really sure why the rumors started, but it was probably because he was insanely rich and what else would he do with that money? The reality was that his body was cremated like another body and multiple sources confirmed this. His daughter, his death certificate, his grave, and pretty much all that stuff. Hey guys, what was the dumbest thing you believed when you were little? For me, it was Pokemon, but now we got Pokemon Go. Let us know on the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Take care, everybody. Much love and appreciation. Peace. Demonger as far as to pin every major atrocity of the war on the US military, including a massacre where US soldiers used samurai swords to behead North Koreans. Because samurai swords were used frequently by the US Army, don't you know anything about history?